Hey, YouTube, so we're on. We're live now. I was muted, so we just start. We're only in the first game here. I'm going to keep this. So this happened. Gotta land there. Would have been sick. I don't think I'm going to do anything. Because, like, it looks like it's going to be a grindy game. I guess I should have I should have played my fine broker. That was stupid. I should have just ran out the fine broker. Just to be on the board more. Okay. My opponent's got a million treasures. Now I'm not going to run the fine broker out. I'm probably just going to play the Vivian. <clears throat> Turn off auto yields. I don't know what my opponent's doing. We're just going to get the land. We have enough going on that we just need lands. <clears throat> Especially between this fine broker Eldest Reborn loop. We just want to have mana. It's kind of nice that we're insulated against uh, Nim Mizzet with this. We don't we don't go down a card. Use this first. If they don't do something weird to it in combat. We get a Jade Light. Lead off with the jade light. That's gonna be the only thing we do this turn. Well, wow, I don't know. I don't have any idea what they're doing. Are they just gonna like put on top? Put on top. They're just gonna try to like bane fire me for the full twenty damage. All right, that's chemistry's insight. You gonna flash it back? No, I just have no idea. Do they got a Karn deck with all these with all these treasures? Maybe like a Karn or... No, it wouldn't be a Psy deck because you have to cast the artifact. <clears throat> yeah, I just have no idea what's going on. Opponent's deck's like 42 draw spells and... My opponent plays a niv -Miz. At the end of the turn, I'm going to Assassin's Trophy it because I would like to untap and... Uh, do stuff with my mana while going up with my Vivian Reed. I don't want to have to neg the Vivian Reed to get um, I don't want to have to neg it minus the Vivian Reed in order to do something here. Like I'd like to keep marching that up towards ultimate. Plus it's also going to help me hit land drops. Which is neg is super mana hungry. Like it always feels bad whenever you don't use your mana. Like all of it every turn. I wish I knew what my opponent was doing though. I'm going to assume that it is... Um, I'm going to assume that it's just... A crackling Drake deck. Like a blue red. Pro it's probably got like Rao. Yeah, dude, we can play that awful card. This card's so bad. Like, what are you gonna do with it? Are you you're anticipating? No, they choose Pirate Spell. So you're you're having a six mana. You're paying six mana to surveil and draw a card. To surveil and cantrip. Holy shnikes. So that must be what we're playing against. Which means I probably don't even want to play my... Um, well, no, that possibility. You think we're playing against that Storm deck, Cody? The standard Storm deck? If that's the case, 
Can you play Fine Broker? Can you just play this kid as Eldest Reborn going? Or I could just hold out Triple Assassin's Trophy. Which probably doing Triple Trophy is the best way to do this. That's what it's gotta be. It's gotta be like that enchantment. Yeah, okay. So, whenever you cast instant sorcery spell, copy it for each other instant sorcery spell you cast before this turn. You may choose new targets. Alright, so with this on the stack, we're gonna blow this thing up. We figured it out. Don't say such negative things, Rob. Shock. What are they doing? They're lightning striking. Is this all going at my head? Three, six, this is nine, 15, 17. Wow. Well, I'm dead. Because it's 12, it copies it. 12. Holy shnikes, we're dead. Well, I definitely should have played my 4-drop, understanding a little more how this deck works. Because, like... I was worried they were going to have a counter spell or something like that to protect this thing. So I just wanted to go like trophy, trophy. And I couldn't hold up two trophies with this. But you're definitely right after seeing this is how this works. All right. Well, we want duresses. Um... They're probably going to bring in some sort of removal. Some sort of creatures that I have to remove. The Playcrafter's fine. Make some discard. I don't want to keep my trophies. Eldest Reborn seems like kind of shenanigans. I'm wondering if I want... Like, I probably don't want these Bloodfasts. Because it doesn't really seem like a Bloodfast kind of matchup. God, you're so negative. And, you're so negative and right, Rob. But I don't really know what I would take out. Like these tubes are probably not great. So maybe we could cut we could probably just like potentially cut all the tubes. Bring in like two blood fasts and then like a death board scavenger. Just because the death board scavenger is at least a, a clock. Could cut this as well. Oh, we don't need Vivian. Because Vivian um it's on the slower side. But Vraska's pretty slow as well. But I don't want to cut too much of my top end. What do you think, Chad? Is, are the Chupacabras as 2 2 beaters better than these Varaskas? I don't think so. We still have like enough removal. Like we have six removal spells. So if they do give us the old flip flop and bring in some creatures that. There's we have something to defend ourselves with. We got possibility storms. Holy shit! Oh, not possibility storms. Whatever. A thousand. I don't even remember what the name of the thing is. Well, we got a mulligan. This. Hey, how's it going? Nameless. We'll keep this one. Put that on top. We're still going to uh, play the Branch Walker just so that we get our mana going. I would assume this is like a really poor matchup for this deck. Put into your graveyard. At least we have a three power, three power dude on two. 
You're gonna shock it though. Yeah. That sucks. All right, swell. We're already so grindy and strong with one of that. Back yesterday playing. Just keeping with the modern. I think we're gonna get rid of this this one right here. Let my opponent dirtle. We can deal with this row. This looks like a card that enables their engine. So let's just cut this. The two trophies in one day, pretty happy with Shadow. Nice. I'm gonna I'm definitely so I don't have another modern tournament for the next like couple weeks. I'll definitely be reaching out to you. Other than it's on Discord or something like that for something to start with. And yeah, this deck is this deck's strong. Just solid overall. I'd like to draw some action here though. That's not action. Be a lot of burn and dredge. Well, if you got collective brutalities, if you got collective brutalities and know how to play, I'm fairly certain that that's just a really good matchup. The dredge is, dredge is rough depending on how many battle rages slash anger slash ley lines you play. Yeah, we're, we're playing against that Thousand Eyes Storm deck, Rafi. Hope they don't lightning strike this. Because if they do, we're just not doing anything. All right, let's attack first. Same list. But just the main deck that I was playing and then Friedman's um, sideboard plan. All right, well, we hit a land. So we can play Big V next turn. I was going to insight. So we know the Rowl is coming down this turn. So we're going to trophy the Rowl. I guess it's not coming down this turn. No Rowl. Shoot. So we slowed them down a little bit. There are some spirits and scales decks. Yeah, those decks are. I think that those matchups are tough. So I played a version of Shadow with. Uh, I played Ben Jones deck for a little while for for like two leagues. I think I went. I went something like eight and two or nine and one with it, and I had two Jaces in my sideboard and, and like loved it. Like I just thought it was fantastic. There's your row. Yeah, absolutely loved it. You put an island in their graveyard. Yield and until my opponent's death. So we know they have a lightning strike. In their hand. Maybe I probably should have played my Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, I punted. I should have played my Jade Light Ranger before attacking in case I want to hold this back to have another green mana to hit this trophy. Though if my opponent wanted to see around that, they could have just lightning strike my land war elf. Put into your graveyard. They look so awful against the decks I beat. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely like the... It's definitely a, you know, a control card. But I was pretty happy with it. Like, Ben even brings it in against humans. Just as, like, a way to reset, like, a big... A bigger creature. All right, what do we got? Four mana. Is this, like, the cannonade card? No. Splashing back inside. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Jason's like, it's, it's just a control card. Like, 
or mid-range card. And it's probably the best control card or mid-range card that we have access to. And it is pretty sweet when your Jace is like, um, do I just want to hold up like this through Spell Pierce? Or play this Jade Light Ranger? Because what are they going to do? If they have Fiery Cannonade, they have Lightning Strike though, so let's just put pressure on them. If we get Fiery Cannonade, I'm going to feel pretty bad, but I don't necessarily think that we're beating that. Uh, put into your graveyard. Put on top. At least we have a creature that gets around that now. Yep. This is a deck that I would assume would be able to beat up on Black Green. You just like they go a little over the top of you when it comes to a combo deck, and it's you don't. It's not like you have an amazing clock. You do get four duresses, which is nice, and I guess Plague Crafter is pretty good. But it's just a card. It's a deck that can kind of ignore your card advantage, which I would assume is the way to beat this black green deck. To play a deck that goes over the top of it, like this this combo deck here, or like a. I mean, if, like, I would assume if the Turbo Fog deck was good, I would assume that that deck would be good against this deck. Like, but that deck's not very good. Or something like a March of the Multitudes, which can just kind of ignore what they're doing and just overpower them. Yeah, I've definitely so I've got I've got a, my next modern event is um it's either I'm either gonna go to regionals or e eternal weekend if I go well, I'm something going on that weekend and I'm either gonna play Death Shadow probably or Blue White I tried learning how to play Ironworks but I've I've played like a couple months of Ironworks and just have not been able to figure it out so and it's also like kind of miserable to play. And it's miserable to like. It's miserable to play, and it's miserable to play like to interact with your opponent you're playing with. So I think that I'm just going to. Uh, I think I'm just going to move those cards and do something else with them. I'm not exactly sure what, but that's my next. That's my next like big modern event. Yep, you got it. You gotta take out three of my creatures, which they probably can do. Okay. They have to like gain life. Play this play crafter. After combo. I guess they're probably now nah, still attack this. They need to kill two of these. Oh, sorry, I was just reading something. All right, so let's Plague Crafter. We'll sack our Land of War Elf. Get there. Get another card from them, then still have this trophy up. Yeah, I live in Virginia. I live like right south of DC. Okay. We're just gonna hit the first. There's merit to 
me um, killing, like, sacking the Playcrafter because it leaves the Land War Elf around. But the odds of, like, like they're, they're, even if they play this, they're going to be able to kill the Land War Elf if they die. Nice. I'm going to DC. Kind of flesh dogs during this weekend. For a buddy in Sherlington. Sherlington. I don't know where Sherlington is. All right. So now they have to kill me from a pretty small base. So, like, good on them if they can do that. Arlington? Okay. Well, nice, dude. Arlington's a good area. Plenty of things to do up there. It's a good, good place. Good place to be. <clears throat> this is kind of like a repeated must answer. We need to make sure that if my opponent plays a possibility storm to attack first to make it so they can't go like cast a spell, kill a pirate, kill a pirate. That's a that's like a way that we could lose, theoretically. Do you have a good LGS you go to? Uh, Victory Comics is really good. That's a place that's probably pretty close to where you are, actually. Victory Comics or Curio Cavern. Curio Cavern is like kind of like your more spiky place. Like that's where Nick Lich learned to play. That's where Nick Lich started or plays a lot. That's where um that's like where Luke Purcell plays from time to time. There's a bunch of guys that are on the SCG tour that play down there. Um, Victory Comics, they also play there a little bit, but it's a little more casual. Um, they're gonna I think I'm gonna lose this game. Like they've got they still have like a chemistry's insight to flash back. So like I'm pretty sure this isn't gonna go my way. Um they go opt into shock I'm gonna see. Okay. Um if you want to go to like a casual store, there's a store in the in the middle of DC called Labyrinth Gaming, which is more casual. Like, all right, dude. They can go Chemist's Insight into Shock to clear the board, and then I'll blow this up with Veraska, play another Veraska, and plus it. <coughs> looks like what they looks like what they're doing. Yeah, but if you message me on, if you like tweet at me or something or get me to remember something that I can see after the stream, wow, something I can see after the stream, then I will uh, definitely like send you a link to where the places are. All right, well, Uh, where's my Vraska? Where's my... Yeah, my Vraska's good. This has happened maybe before. I just have to restart. So let me just put up this. This is annoying. Why did I want to use the Vraska ult? Um, like, what does the Vraska do, Farby? Or not Farby, uh, Rafi, if he's already at... Um, what is going on here? If he's already at one, so any creature is already lethal anyways. And by recycling the Vraskas, I get to destroy the enchantment and put a new threat on the board. Doesn't the ult, the ult makes it, I mean, if, like, it reduces their life total to one, right? 
if I missed it, I'm gonna feel stupid. But doesn't it reduce their life total to one? And then the other one is like any creature that you hit is lethal. Like while we're waiting here. Rasco exclamation point card. It was not a serious comment. You're usually so serious. You're usually so serious or you're trolling me. Card Baraska. Baraska. For the amount you come into this stream and troll me, you should at least be subscribed, Rocky. Target life total becomes one. Oh, okay, you were trolling. I'm just glad I didn't miss it. I, I, I miss stuff like that sometimes. Moto's, Moto's doing a little bit of I think I can. <clears throat> so let's hope we come back with two Vraskas in play or we'll or we are filing for compensation. Okay, so we want to keep that one. All right, I want to keep this one. All right. Glad we figured that out. You have another one of those dumb enchantments? Oh, no, we can kill that. We can kill this. If they go to draw two cards. They don't have a chemist's insight, so they do have an insight, so they can just merc this, uh, just draw two right now and get rid of my pirate. And that basically just buys them one more turn, or buys them two turns effectively. Because we're not going to let this Nimbusit stay in play for any more time than ha we have to. So we're going to draw three cards here. This matchup does not seem very good. Whoa, they're just going to kill. They're going to. They have a shock. Lava coil. Okay. Kill this. So I'd love to draw a creature here. A fine broker would be nice. Fine broker, let me put two bodies in the play. Land is not nice. And we can plus there, but all my opponent has to do is cast a spell next turn and they get to kill my token. So like we're just not winning with the, uh, we're not winning with the whatever it is in play. All right. Well now. All right. That's at least a body. I mean, at least every single one of my creatures is lethal now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if we hit a fine broker, we can loop it into a Vraska. 
Or we can hit like a Plague Crafter to just make them discard a card. They, they must have. I think they still have, like, looking at that graveyard, I would assume they still have a lot of burn left in their deck. Like, they probably have plenty of, I mean, they've only got five, they have five cards in hand, nine cards left in their deck, but they, okay, all right. I thought wrong. So I think after seeing that game, I'm going to bring in the Wild Growth Walker. Oh, I did, okay. I kind of just want to, like, cut one of these, cut one of these, and then I think I just want, like, this because it's a beater. I basically just want anything that can attack. I almost want, like, I almost don't want any of these Golgari Queens. I want to bring in more Chupacabras just because it also kills um, whatever that dumb card is. Uh, I can't think. It kills uh, niv -Mizzet. I almost want Eldest Reborn just to like bring something back. I wonder if we cut, like, bring these two in on the draw, cut an elf. We're gonna try this. I'm gonna cut two elves in the draw. Cause like they're gonna have they have shocks and lightning strikes, so they have a couple different ways to deal with this. And like between in their main deck or like on it's not as good on the play because you can't like the it gets hit by both lightning strike lava coil and shock so this might not be right to do but i'm going to give it a try all right well we have a blood fast and a trophy this hand's not that great but hopefully the blood fast can draw us into what we need definitely some experimental sideboarding We got Choops and Magoops lined up. I'd love to hit a Jade Light Ranger next turn. Jade Light would be awesome. A Duress would be good. All right, if they play that dumb pillage card, I don't think we're going to win. Because it's just going to set their mana up. All right, we're just going to run out of Chupacabra. If they kill it, at least they're not Chemister's Insighting, but they're probably just going to Insight anyways. All right, we'll take this. I mean, if they go opt into shock, okay. It's a good draw. Play our JD boy. And we'll just, we're gonna put this into the graveyard. Put this on top. Play a spell. Now we can either trophy something or draw a card. I think we're going to get there. Okay. So let's start off with this. Depending on what we see here, we might blood fast on our turn to try to hit a two drop. But if we see maybe like something we have to double trophy up for, then we will hold off. All right, Nimizit, Crackling Drake, two Nimizits. So we can look for another card here. 
The rest doesn't do anything. Let's play this. My opponent plays a Crackling Drake. We're going to trophy it. If they play Nimizza, we're going to untap and Chupacabra it. They play Mountain. Probably should have done that with the trigger on now that I think about it. We need another big beater here. This is definitely a Bloodfast game. I did love playing Bloodfast games in the, in the previous format when you would just like cheap interaction into cheap interaction. All right. In like draw a card, cheap interaction, draw a card. Into a graveyard. We might hit another two drop. Okay. Playcrafter is pretty nice. Now we have both of these, the, the Nemezits covered. I just hope there's not another spell to pair with them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. So we can go Choops and Fine Broker. Fine Broker, get back another Choops. Yep, ping this. Hopefully I don't hit another spell. I just like to get in for some damage. Hey, thanks, uh, Dugga. Dug Dougie, Dougie Fresh. We appreciate it, and we'll have a good stream. I hope your stream went well. Hope they are going to be able to just kill this. Now let's get back another Choop. So I would like to be able to Chupacabra the Nymphs that they have in their hand while then being able to play Craft or make them discard. And then we have another trophy set up for, you know, if they find another creature, they find a, a way to deal with this. Tight match. Good games all around. Okay, there's the visit. So we don't know anything about my opponent's hand anymore. Okay. So if they have a way to draw another card, they can kill my shoot. No, they're going upstairs. Decent draw. So I'm going to attack. We're not going to get to blood fast on this turn, unfortunately. But we are going to be able to get another card out of our opponent's hand. We'll sack one of our Chupacabras just because this has more uh, power. Like it's just kind of an obvious thing. What do we get? We got an island. It's not good. Standard feels like it's so much better place than proficient. Yes. Standard is sweet. I think standard was good anyways. I think just people complain too much. I think the gameplay was a lot of fun. If you're into like if you're into a diverse format, I can get how it wasn't exactly what you wanted to do. So I think we're just going to put Lethal on the board. Now 
Like, so they have to have a removal spell they can't point out. And if we got into nine there and they had, like, triple lightning strike, we would have died. With two lightning strikes in the graveyard, so they would have to do something. All right, so we're going to, on the, the first spell on the stack, we're going to get rid of this. So they have another removal spell. They are going to be able to at least clear out some creatures. Oh, okay. So let's just yield until next end step. It did feel like a very Jund-esque kind of game. We were seven and a half. Um, um, we were seven and a half minutes up on this guy, and we had to restart Moto. It's like they're lagging out, which probably means they're scooping it up. All right, it's a good way to start the stream. I'm going to start my next match looking for it. I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back. so like yes that was awful with respect to if you if you don't like um how do i say this so it was definitely awful if you're not if you're a fan of diversity <clears throat> i'm more of a fan of gameplay and i actually think the gameplay in there was awesome i think the team of mirrors were a lot of fun i thought playing it's red was like okay I uh, got Knight and Columbus in my team. This is my first league with it there, Gurmag. You should post your list. I'd love to see it. I'm just playing. I'm playing the two decks that, uh, number one, like this is Yama Killer's deck, and then the one before is the, the next league I'm going to do is the Grixis deck that he beat in the finals. I don't know. I think that the standard gameplay has been good. Really? Like... I don't know. I think the standard games have been fun for a while. They can obviously they can obviously get tiring, and if that's like your mo, then I get that. And those formats would probably be awful for you. I wouldn't mind hitting anything here. Probably gonna ditch it unless it's a Jade Light Ranger. I'm probably gonna ditch it. Yeah, hitting a land is nice. Our hand's pretty clogged up. Knight of Grace. It's actually kind of a tough card for us to answer. It's first strike. We can't kill it, so we're just going to play this and pass. Two dead weight, three district guide. Yeah, see, like, this is the sweet thing about the green-black decks. Is, like, I have no idea if your deck is right, wrong, or indifferent. But, like, we, we are in the same archetype. And let me turn off. Uh, yield until next end step. We're in the same archetype, but we have 20 to 25 different cards. All right, so as bad as this feels, we, uh, we've we got to use our mana, I think. I don't think we can afford to just like not do anything. So we're going to kill this history. And it's like, we can still kill another Lyra. We can, you know, kill something. Choops is a really solid draw there. So we're just going to Choops this Knight and then just get in there for two. I don't know anything about really that version of it. That version looks like it, it, it that version looks like it could be the best version once you figure out how to build it. Okay. 
So I could Eldest Reborn. They sack this. I really want to get the Reborn going. But that's probably a little greedy of me. We have just got to deal with this Lyra. How's it going, Tannen? We saw there like the Assassin's Trophies ramp my opponent into the Lyra, which was a little feel baddy. We just want to keep this board manageable because as long as we can play this Frasca on just a semi stable board, we'll be in decent shape. There's nothing stable about that card. So it's going to pump this, make this five. We probably go Vraska, smoke this. That's not good either. It's awkward. So we have to hit a land, and then Vraska tick down on this Aurelia. We don't hit land, we're likely, we're actually pretty much just dead. All right, well, Choops is like the, Choops is, is close. Well, Choops is actually pretty good because it smokes this. Green Seeker is pretty good, but I, I've been trying Thorn Lieutenant. Green Seeker seems slow. So now we just need to like buy ourselves enough time. And if my opponent messes around giving us a Dondo, like paying four life a turn. We gotta just try to maneuver this game. Gee, some crow, you got a Shalai. That's that's a legend though. Okay, so again, we're at the point where we have to hit another land drop. Because we can hit the Shalai. I'm definitely, I'm going to block here. It sucks this cast down doesn't hit this, these legends. Thorn Dex, it's a nice two drop. I like four package to try out the other stuff. Three, block next turn. Did you just make them pay life? We could just block. What are they going to sack? They're not going to sack their Shalai off the Eldest Reborn. I kind of just want to... I kind of just want to block to keep my life total high to give myself the best chance to see this Eldest Reborn through. Triple blocking the Knight is decent. Yeah, I didn't think about that. But I, I, I guess I just wanted to give myself... Well, now things... Because, like, I didn't think about that. So if I go Vraska down on this, they probably send both... Yeah, I think I, I, think I mucked up. They're probably, what are they going to sack? Yeah, I think I, I think I mucked up. So now we can go Vraska, go up. And then we're just like slowly dying to this. Yeah, I think my best play is to go Vraska and up now. And then just make like a steady stream of chump blockers. Because they can't just keep this Adondo's Vanguard around forever. Use a triple block and would have been would have been not right. I think since they had the removal, you lose everything. It's something I should have thought of, and I didn't spend enough time thinking about it. Is there any reason not to block with a two one instead of a two two? Um, I blocked with. Are you talking about the branch walker blocking here? I guess there was no, there was no real reason. I just, like, what I wanted to do is just try to make this game go as long as possible. 
So I just wanted to keep my life total high. And now hopefully my opponent like dinks around with this Vraska. And we can just somehow maneuver this Eldest Reborn while being able to... Um, no, they're just going at me. Okay. So if we go block, shoot this next turn, cast Eldest Reborn, then that gives me a pretty solid... This needs a solid chance they have to have nothing. If they follow through with a creature, I do that. I'm pretty screwed. So I think we're just going to double chump again. My opponent wants to pay four more life. They can do that. Okay. Okay. So now we go here. Play this Eldest Reborn. No, that leaves us dead. So we can't do that. No, it doesn't. Because they sack a creature. Yeah. So as long as they don't have like a flash creature here, we at least make it through the turn. power they will kill the two two with first strike and then the two one we kill the two one yeah i guess uh nap damon I, i'm like i'm past it because like this game's like kind of narrow margins they should definitely they left the vanguard okay So I think I'm just going to kill this because by doing this, they if they pay four more life, then I can kill it. I can go like they play another creature here. I can go down with Varaska, down with Varaska, and they can't save this. So as long as they don't have a lightning strike here, I'm in good shape. And then we're going to get their Lyra back and be good. Oh, they had a lightning strike. Okay. That sucks. I think we were so close. Like, I think we, we picked the line there, and we played to the line really well. Like, we were just trying to make that game go long, and we couldn't quite... Like, we needed one more turn. So against this deck, Deadweight's probably fine, even though it just hits... It only hits... It's actually probably not even that good. Like, this card's better... And these are better. Um, cards that don't seem great. Cast down seems awful. As we saw. Vivian's good. All the rest of my cards are pretty decent. So we know we want this and this to help wipe out their little guys. We're on the play, so I don't want to cut any of my mana. But I do want this this thing here. Probably the Eldest Reborn's a little slow. I'm going to go with the Eldest Reborn slow. And let's just bring these two in. And like the Wild Growth Walker is just the card that's going to hold down the ground if we get there. On the draw, I might board a little differently. But I don't think... I don't think any of these cards are like... I almost kind of want Eldest Reborn on the draw when I don't have to like focus on hitting my land drops as much. And these land worlds become worse. But I don't... Like, that might not make sense, though. Like, on the play, when I see less cards, I just want to make sure I hit my land drops. Like, maybe we can... But Big Brass... Oh, it's so weird. Because all these cards are just such bombs. There's, like, some party going on outside. And my dog is just... There's, like, a dog down there that's barking. And Philly's just, like, scoping him from up here. Just giving him the absolute stone cold stare. Yes, you are. Yeah, I mean, 
We got the walker. We hit a bunch of ex if we hit any explorer creatures and we're in good shape. I think I like keeping land heavy hands like this with this deck just because it's so mana hungry that you just want to make sure you hit land drops like one through six. And if you hit land drops one through six, then you're going to be fine. That's the very few games I've played. All right. The old Adanto. Break. Oh, shoot. So we're just going to take this shot. I should have attacked. That was stupid. I definitely should have attacked because I'm not blocking. There's no way they're blocking and paying for life. So they'd be at one less life. So let's see if that matters. All right. So I don't really want to play Fine Broker because um, because I'm not getting anything back with it. I will think that I'll shoot this and because it has now see this is another sequencing mistake. I've not played these games very well because now we can't attack. So my opponent should be at 14, which is probably going to be relevant. I'm just going to block one of these with the Chupacabra. So my opponent's two points higher. Yeah, should have attacked first. Yeah, you're right, Andy. I've missed out on two points of damage so far. I watched you play against Dan last night, Andy. And it was, it was pretty gross. You you hit a couple good ones off the top. I'm not sure if they're off the top. Well, the shock was really good. So my opponent should be at 10, which is pretty relevant. Because they're not going to be able to turn these Adonis Vanguards on very much longer. We had to end twice yesterday. Just had his number. Yeah, you were playing Mono Red. Is that what you're on now? That's basically the only deck besides the two I'm going to play tonight that I have not tried yet in standard. Yeah. Deck just looks solid. I would like to try Ger uh, Jerry. Cause I, I hated the green white tokens deck. I would like to try Jerry Thompson's green white tokens deck where he moved away from like the expensive five drops and was a little lower to the ground and then had Karn in the sideboard for card advantage. Cause like Todd Stevens, I played with Todd Stevens green white deck and I just like, I have 42 five drops in my deck. It just felt way too clunky. Mono Red's probably pretty good against this deck, right? Unless you're on like the wild, the wild growth walker chain. So my opponent might uh, no, they're not going to attack with this, even if they have a deafening Clarion or whatever it is. History. So I think I'm just going to shoot the history token with the old Choops. Shoot this, attack. I basically trade four life. I can trade eight life for some of these creatures. Or I can trade four life and a Knight of Grace if they go double block here. Or it's just eight life, they go to four. At least my board pretty weak though. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. I think if they had something like a Vraska, if we had something to follow up here, I would think about it because they can just go block, block, take eight, and then it's like my pretty puny board against their good board. But the problem is they didn't have to chump, like these are just trading. So I guess that's really not that bad.
because it, it, it essentially turns off these Adonis Vanguards. So, like, we're just going to attack. Because, like, we get rid of this. They're at eight. They can only, they were just, like, putting the clock down on how many times they can activate these. And then I think if they attack with the vanguards, then I'm going to line up some blocks. Like I can throw the like the Chook and the Llanowar Elves in front of them. And then just take three. And then it's like they can we can either trade the board or they can take either four or nine, eight life. Just a Loxodon. Oh, that's gross. Oh, it's a Tribunal. That's dangerous. It's like it's the biggest creature off the board. So, block, 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 blocks, first strikes. Now we're just going to take this. A tribunal. This is a good turn for them. They added to the board and, did, and convoked out. Oh, that's big. It might not even be that big, though. Because we don't have anything to come back. So maybe I should... Maybe it's... Because like, I haven't played this deck a lot. So maybe it was just right of me to chump block to play into that. Because we'd just be in such a good spot if we did that. But that might be, like, too big of a brain thing to do. What happens if I attack with the chook? If I attack with chooks... These knights. If I attack with chooks... They take it. I hit this fine broker. This fine broker. Then I go chump, chump, trade. I'm not in a good spot. Oh, do I even have to? Do I have to trophy this? It's a tough spot. If I attack with Chupacabra, then I've got Fine Broker. I can go Chump, Chump, block that, take seven, go to four. I think that's fine. Then they go to seven. They can only activate one of these. So maybe I put a Wild Growth Blocker in front of here. No, I put a, one of these guys in front of here. Yeah, I think that's okay. Hey, leave it. I'm freeing their mana up too, which is something that I didn't think about. And I probably should have thought about more. Because like they've been stuck on three this whole game. That might have also that might have been a bad play because of that. Get the troops back. I'm gonna play my land and then hit this. Yeah, my phone's like, I should have seen that coming.
Okay, board's a bit more stable now. So now we can get a little more aggressive with setting up some trades on these Adancho's vanguards. I should have played my land. That was stupid. This deck's mana hungry. Right, this would be a lot nicer if my opponent was two points lower. Okay. I hit my tiny boy. So in order for this to work out best for me, I have to block like Chupacabra on Adonis Vanguard and then block like Land War Elves here. I'm definitely like blocking with chups. Now I can go chups block here, land where else block here. This block here. No, I can't do that either. I'm going to go like here and here. Yeah, he just didn't play it in his deck. I take eight. I think I'm going to do this because this leaves like an explore creature. Like if I hit like a Jade Light Ranger, then I've got some more draws. But I've like screwed myself with the fact that if I even if I hit. Okay, they're just gonna let this go. They're gonna take the life. No. Free trade. Alright, what does district guide do? District guide means I have to go chump. Block chump. Go to one. Go to swamp. Play swamp. I don't know. Guy just didn't play it. Like he, I mean, he obviously knows something that we don't. Like, guy won a Moto PTQ. Like the Moto PTQs are probably some of the hardest tournaments that Magic has to offer. And the guy just took down week one. Billy. So we're going to go block here, block here. It says that's what his write-up was about it. Nice. Is that on Reddit? I'll have to check that out. I don't see how we get out of this one, boys and girls. Yeah, we're dead. I'm sad we didn't win. Well, one, two. Oh, it's so close. Because we can go like hit this, bring back Choops, hit this. But we, we, we're at one. Well, let's see if they go for it. I don't know. I, just, I guess I just tend to think like 
maybe the card's like too slow and you don't need it. I don't know. Because like I feel like you just outgrind, you just outgrind these control decks anyways. So we're only out here. The only out here is, is if my opponent just doesn't attack. Oh, shoot. That actually lines it up. That just gives me another turn because we get three on three. Because I didn't even think about that. I zoned out the body. I zoned out with the body, not... Um... Okay. So we're in this spot again. That probably kills us. Fine finality would win would be great here. But I think that just like super kills me. Because these two flyers. So now we just go double block block. Fine finality would be sick here. If we won, we would just load up this this breaker. So now we just go block, block, block. No, they just shouldn't attack. At least if I were them, I wouldn't attack. Um, so, like, uh, uh, it sucks we lost the first game. I'm not really sure there was a lot that could have been done that game. But it sucks that we lost the first game. My deck all weekend. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, like, maybe it's just not needed. I, I don't have any idea. Because, like, against tokens, like, that's kind of a slow fog. That's kind of a slow um option. Um, I don't know. Like, maybe you don't need it to grind. There, there, there's just so many things to think about. Like, I, I try to think there's a reason that he did it. Because, like, you know, he's obviously very good. Unless he literally just threw it together that fast. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. I hope everyone's having a great... Wednesday night, hump day. Wait, it's Wednesday? The, the week's thrown off for me. Tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah, then I'm heading out on Friday. There's no stream this weekend. This weekend is my anniversary with my wife. So I will not be streaming this weekend. We're going on a trip. Can't tell you where it is. She might watch my YouTube video. She's not going to watch my YouTube video. Not at all. Uh, this hand's too slow. We're playing against a ringer, too. Yeah, we'll keep this. Just looking for lands. This guy's probably playing Golgari, if I had to imagine. Foul Orchard makes me think it's the Mulder Holt version. Yeah, this is the Mulder Holt version. Alright, hang on one second. Hey, buddy. You may go to this in here if you want to. It's a little too much for me. It would be interesting to me. I almost want to smoke this memorial to Folly. The only problem, there's no way that I can break up the memorial. Um, like value train. They put a foul orchard on top. All right, well, I'm going to just cast my spells. This kind of enables them more. I could get Molder Holt pretty hard here. They're just going to trade for this. Like, I could just not do anything and, sh like, kill this. That doesn't seem super, super great. I just kind of want to use my mana. They've got one, two, three, four.
We're just gonna play this Choops, shoot this, just try to start the the fine broker loop. I think our best way to win this matchup is to honestly like ultimate or Vraska. Like if we can ult Vraska, like we've got a shot. That's probably it. They have a nice Zoni. We can just kind of go on the beat plan. Little Chooks beatdowns. Okay, I'm done now. That Izoni's not bad. Let's get this thing out of here. They can memorial it back, but that's pretty slow. Like we're just not gonna win if they go to if they get to just I mean they're probably gonna just chew through all of these things. Yeah, this feels awful without fine finality. Yeah, how does he beat this deck without fine finality? <laughs> it's like, what was I supposed to do there? Yeah, like we're just going to get... Right, like there's no way we can beat this version without a board wipe. Yeah, I literally don't think that I can win. But I'm just attacking here to chew through as many insects as possible. And then I'm just going to Fine Broker back the Fine Broker. All right, take it easy. We're just going to bounce off here. That's all right. We're going to play another one, get another Choops back. I guess I could have just played Chupacabra on this and then attacked, but the problem with that is is that my opponent gets the chance to just bring back their eyes, like draw a bunch of cards with their eyes only because it's just slow. No, I'm just going to try to save myself as many points as possible. I should have attacked. I should have cast down one of those. It's like then there's nine more. All right, just sack one. So there's thirteen. I mean, we theoretically get another turn. We get to eat three, like bounce, block, block, 10, 11. We get to hit again, but we don't have a play. We don't even have a plague mirror in our deck. We're going to have a plague mirror. We're going to bring in our plague mirrors for the next round. We can just keep looping these too, which is like not an actual way to win. So the molder into memorial. This guy does not care. All right, we'll scoop it up. That was a that was literally that was a one sided beating. That was a effing thrashing. Like that was an ass kicking. All right, cards we don't want. 
If I want Death Gorge Scavenger, Golden Demise, Plague Mirror all seem decent. Braska's Contemptions, all right. Plague Crafter is pretty bad. These cast downs seem pretty bad. I'm playing um I'm playing the deck that won the Moto PTQ net. Just playing like the 75. Eldest Reborns don't seem great, but they like might be some way for me to loop. Like the best way that I'm gonna win is create a board presence and then kill them with a Varaska. So like the Eldest Reborn is just more ways to recur my Varaska. So I don't really want to cut them, even though they're awful against Izoni. If these games are a little long, I'm gonna cut a land world. This is supposed to be standard, Nick. How are you, Nick? I haven't seen you in a hot minute. I saw you just followed my Twitch channel, or at least I got the alert on Streamlabs two days ago, GC Burglefest graced me with his follow. I couldn't be more happy. Yeah, this like the Eldest Reborn is pretty awful, but I think the only way I'm gonna like one of the best ways for me to win this game is just Ulta Planeswalker. And I think it's probably like one of my only outs. I guess dumb as that sounds, like ulting a planeswalker, but like I have to find some way to go over the top of what they're doing. We're gonna get the quick beats. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. On top. I follow for we go. Okay, I, ju I just saw the alert for it. This brass is kind of awkward because I don't really have anything that I want to sacrifice. But I could sacrifice a land of war elf to draw a card, or I could just not sacrifice anything. I guess that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to tick it up. If ditch a land, then I've only got four lands. Yeah, we're just gonna. I only have four mana sources. I mean, like we're looking to block here, but if they if they do kill this, then I'll chump. Then I'll block with this. We're gonna just we're just gonna race for an ultimate. <clears throat> That's just what Streamlabs told me. So Streamlabs is likely whacked. <clears throat> Another glow spore shaman. I wouldn't mind hitting a land here just so we can keep the like the way clear for this. Nice. One, two, three, four. I guess we can hit a land now. Okay, so we're gonna hit more lands, but. No rest is content. My dog's making noise. Give me a second. God, you just, you spend all kinds of money to get your dog toys, and he just eats everything else. That's what they do. They chew to my chew. So, one, two, three. I can find Broker back. 
Are we going to stream Modern? I don't know. Modern's kind of meh. I don't really want to sack anything and draw a card. I guess I could, like, bring back this forest and then sack a forest. Yeah, I might as well just go like this. We're going to stay neutral. Find. Okay. So they have to put both blockers into play, or we're going to get them. Because this is whenever a creature deals combat to damage to a player, that player loses. Let's play this Jade Light Ranger first. Put into your graveyard. Okay. So again, we can attack, but then they can just eat our creatures. We're just going to ult this just to just to like threaten. I mean, just to threaten it. No, we don't want to play the Fine Broker. Cancel. Plus, standard's pretty sweet. I've been having a lot of fun playing it. I haven't done very well, but um, yeah, I'll just put this on top. Like, I don't think this game's gonna go longer, much longer. But if it does go much longer, I think we want an Elder for one. Because, like, as of right now, we're clearing. One blocker, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. They need at least one more creature and a removal spell. Or they're dead. Like they need to they need to produce two more blockers or a blocker and kill one of mine. Okay. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of legacy and streaming some standard lately. That's kind of where I've been. I haven't played as much modern. Modern's just been kind of whatever lately. Now on the draw, I actually, after seeing the land war elves, I kind of want another one because like it might be my only way to just like blow into the late into the game. But I've got to figure out what to cut. Probably I just want to cut a removal spell because like this just removal is not the way we're gonna win this game. I'll be right back. Yeah, I don't know. This seems this matchup seems awful. They're just the bigger they're just like the bigger version of our deck. They're gonna like you know like noogie and get ya. Yeah, I mean our mana set up, we have a planeswalker. Man, it's not guaranteed setup, but most likely it is. With like two explorer creatures and a brand and a district guide. We easily could miss, but I would be surprised. I guess that's the way that you win these mirrors. Alright, well we're just gonna be man efficient. I think even though that's a good card, we're gonna put it in another graveyard. I'm going to be very sad to miss that. I don't think I'm going to trade off. I think I want to keep my board board clogged. So even if I do land this Braska. Oh, wow. He's got a scavenger to get my scavenger. So that kind of beats up on that plan. Uh, yes. Let's just get a forest. And now with the troops, I might get a little more aggressive here with clearing out this board. The problem is it just makes his Izonis much scarier the later the game goes. Okay, so they just drew two cards. Nice.
I probably should have attacked as I as I think that I'm the beat down. Yeah, I should have attacked there. I'm just gonna take this. I think I'm the beat down. Okay, so they brought back Death Gorge and Branch Walker. Death Gorge Scavenger might just get more and more spots in this deck. So we're getting to the point where they can find finality away this Braska. So then we can rebuy it. So maybe it's worth it to just go double explore. Because we can start by attacking. I think we're going to turn the corner here. I think I'm supposed to be the beat down. Now, and then try to like exhaust some resources. It's going to be hard to race that thing. We're going to put this on top. Then play this elf. Because now we can land the Vraska next turn. And if he has a fine finality, he uses it to wipe the board. Again, I'm just going to trade. I don't know. I feel a little... Now, now I, I, I feel uncomfortable because I've been wavering so much with how these games have gone have gone i think part of that's just because i don't really know how this matchup works but i just have not i've not felt comfortable with how these games are going that probably just comes from needing to play more standard molder hulk the big boy the molder hulk lock It's going to kind of feel bad if we get Assassin's Trophy, but we can at least turn that around. And now we're just going to try to protect the Queen. It's going to let us get Izoni pretty hard, but I don't know if we're beating that at this point. Let's them do their, might, might let them double spell with their Molder Hulk. Yeah, there's Molder bringing back that. That Molder boy. So let's hope we hit a land. Because if we hit a land. Double Molder Hulk, okay. Alright, nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually go pulse a Hulk. Play Fine Broker, get back Choop, hit another Hulk. That just slows them down a lot. I think I like that. Like, I don't think there's any guarantee that we're going to be able to ult this Veraska. Because if they have another Fine Finality, I'm in a lot of trouble. Because one, two, three. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. So let's go. Returns Choops. But now that we started to stabilize this board, now we're going to be able to start ticking up with both Vraskas. Oh, they hit a Contempt. That sucks. That's such a beating. All right, let's start off by attacking with everything. We're going to draw a card. Sack that land. Golden Demise. Not great. Oh, I shouldn't have played that land yet. That was a punt. So I bring back Molder Boy. Jade Light. Okay. Oh, 
Holder. Guys, it's such a good grind. I'm going to lose it eventually, but... Okay, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we get rid of their Jade Light. Sack this. Hit that. Let's crack them for three, six, nine. It's actually a two turn clock. They were kind of hitting them on multiple angles here, which is nice. Like we're beaten down and we're winning like the we're winning on the board and we're winning the card advantage game. Well now we're not winning the card advantage game, but we are winning on the board and drawing two cards a turn. Fine broker's a good draw for them. Fine broker can get back choops. I would assume Chupacabra is the call. Yeah. They got Choops backs one of our things. Yep. Hulk, Hulk, okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go get another fine broker and get a jade light. Yeah, so let's go. Fine Broker gets back. Fine Broker. Get back another Fine Broker. Or just get back Jade Light Ranger. And now we just have to hope that they don't hit a fine finality. If they hit a fine finality, we're, we're dead as a doorknob. Oh, these games are insane. We're going to go chump block here, trade here, double block here. Because we want to like keep our board intact. But we don't want to just throw away our board. Because they, they do have enough mana. And they can start looping. Like where we might not be able to attack them with another creature. But we don't just want to like. Throw creatures away for nothing. Because they can, they've got one, two, three. So they can go. They can, mold, they can memorial folly something back. So it's, gonna, it's, a, it's an interesting block. Don't block here. Block, block. We've got one, two. We have three creatures in play. They have one. They can go get a Chupacabra. We have two. And then if they have another play, then we just not. What, they, what, what happens if we don't block? They have one card. Block three, six, nine. So they just have two creatures in order to not. So we just don't block. Yeah, it just seems so bad if it, if it doesn't work out like that. So let's go here, here.
We can back fine broker. The last draw was a land. The last draw was land. They did. They hit a land. So they hit one of these. Okay. Let's do this first. Put on top. Put on top. Land War Elves is actually a pretty, a pretty good draw here because now they're they're not stone dead because they can, if they put two creatures into play, then they're doing okay. But they need to put two creatures in play or have drawn a removal spell. Okay, yeah, I should have thought about that in the face of this. Get some more information before we make our attack. Because we're likely just going for it. So, yeah, we're going to put this on top. So, now do we go for it? Because if they have a removal spell, and they just go like removal spell here, E, 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 versus next turn, I can go hit this, and then if they have a removal spell, they kill this, block, block. We still have two coming through. I think we just wait. With the Chupacabra on top, I think we can just chill. Like, we could just go for it, but if we if we hit... I think one of the only ways we lose is if he has a removal spell, like a trophy or something. I don't know their deck list very well, which is, like, my fault. A fine finality would be bad. Okay. So another Chup. So we're in the same spot, where if they have another removal spell, then we're dead. So I've got to start thinking, like, does this get any better? One, two. Well, now it gets so much better, right? So now we can just play this Vraska and make a pirate and then do it next turn. Because the pirate has menace. Could just kill a creature. Now, if, I was, if that was the line, we would just play the Chups. Because now, block, 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 block. They need to put two things in the play to block this. And we've got a removal spell. I guess we're not playing around Izoni at all. Doing, the, doing it this way. So now I can pulse two things. So yeah, let's do that. Get this. Get this. And I'm gonna I'm gonna play the Eldest Reborn instead of the Chups. Because if this game does go to shit, I want the Eldest Reborn. This is whenever a creature. Do we need like actual fog to get out of this? All right, nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, I'm going to restart the stream here, or restart Moto. So give me one second. I'll go to this page here. All right, my name is Dylan Hovey. I appreciate all of you guys for watching uh, the stream tonight. Um, I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network, so if you have Magic Online needs, you can check out Card Hoarder because they are the best bot chain in the business. They have competitive pricing. They sponsor a team. They sponsor a bunch of streamers in the community. They just do a lot for us. Um, Gamer Craze is a store in upstate New York where I learned to play Magic. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. They have competitive pricing. 
lowest on um, sealed products, like around period. Like the, the owner told me how they fight with cool stuff over it. Um, so you should check them out. Uh, if you want to talk to me about magic, you should check me out on Twitter. That's also linked below. Whether on YouTube, it's linked below as well. And if you're on YouTube, go to my Twitch page, hit the like button or hit the follow button. And if you're on, um, if you're on YouTube, head on over, or if you're on Twitch, head on over to YouTube where I archive all of my streams. We're coming back now. Man, those black green ones are black green matchups are grindy. I still think that that version is probably really good against what I'm doing. Like with only having three sweepers, I'm gonna go grab a drink. But only having three sweepers is like a wicked nombo. My dog does this cute thing where he rolls up and sleeps on the uh, on the bed up there. And he puts his head up on my pillow. He just like curls up in a little ball. Maybe I'll get a picture of it and I'll post it on Twitter. Keep this. There's Jade Light on two. Playing against it looks like another Boros deck. If we're playing against like a, another Angel style deck, these du this double tube should be nice. But that did not feel like a very good matchup last time. Okay, so we're playing the mono red. Probably with a white splash of something. Maybe like Ixalan's bindings out of the sideboard. You see these two picks from my dog. It's going on my pillow. Dude, dog pictures. If you have dog pictures and you're not releasing them to the world, then you're just an awful human being. So I'm worried about a frenzy. So I think we're just going to keep this on top, even though we're a little light on mana. And we're going to find it eventually. I just don't want to get experimental frenzy out of this game. That's how it's supposed to be done, Tannen. Bang. God, when Choops is good, Choops is that good. Okay. So this is like a big red deck. So next turn, we're going to try to develop our mana. Which, I don't know if it's better to find broke. Tweeted, revel in their cuteness. Oh, the old get wrecked. Pulling up the old tweeter. Oh, that's so good. Dog's literally under the covers. Is your dog named Benji? Or Benny? That's just so awesome. That's just so awesome, Tanner. Benny. All right, we're going to go get... I think we're going to get Choops Magoops back. I'm not exactly sure what my opponent's doing, but I don't think whatever it's whatever it does, I don't think it beats Chupacabra. Short for Begnet. Begnet? Uh, I hope that's how you pronounce it. Is there like a significance to that name, or is that just like, because it's an it's not to be mean, it's like an it's an odd name. I haven't seen it. I should have attacked first. This is poor sequencing. 
Beignet. Okay. Yeah, dude. Google. Check out the old Google machine. I could. I think I'm gonna run this land or elves out because, like, even if they have another deafening clarion, I don't really care. And like, this doesn't. It's not doing that much anyways. The French pastry, nice. Just to strike that. Okay. That's all awesome. A famous pastry. I would like to come to New Orleans. That's like one of the only... I almost went to New Orleans. Like my brother... My brother and his girlfriend are actually vacationing down there. Alright. So we're getting the old... They're getting their twofer. It's worth it. I would like to... That's on the bucket list of places I want to go before I have kids and traveling becomes difficult. That's annoying. What are we going to reanimate? We're probably just going to reanimate our fine broker to get back our eldest reborn. Oh my god. We're about an hour away. Oh my god. This is just the absolute nut. Because we're just going to get our Fine Broker back into play, get our Reborn, Edict this. Holy shnikes. Does it sack? Oh, this isn't how this works? That makes me so sad. No, it is how it works. Oh, that's great. Dude. Well, like, when the ability went on the stack, I wasn't sure that's how it worked. Because, like, when it targeted the Fine Broker, the Eldest Reborn was still in play. Dude, how do you outgrind? Like, that's the thing that, like, so I, I dabbled into Fairy decks to start the format, and... I should have attacked again, but I dabbled into very to fairy decks to start the format, but I just found myself getting out grinded, out grind whatever by these black green decks. Like you just can't go over the top of fine broker plus eldest reborn. So like yeah, now we're just gonna go get Choops back. I could get their blade wing back. Could get their chain whirler. I guess chain whirler is just better than choops. And it's still the same clock next turn. So yeah, let's just get their chain whirler back. Smoke this steamkin. Then crack in. Yeah, I, I literally I just took uh Yama's deck, but I don't know. The deck the deck is really mana hungry. Like, uh, for the amount I've played this, I've been punished sandbagging my lands. I mean, I play one, but if I sandbag, like, more than two, then I definitely get a little hung out to dry there. I'm going to stream uh, Grixis after this. The, the decks that, this will be the decks that went one and two. I think fine would be better. Yeah, I would agree with that. Probably want this. I don't really think I want anything else. I think I'm just like, my deck's probably just super good against whatever they're doing. You can probably cut one of the four mana ones. I think fine is good and pretty much all. That's what I've heard. And maybe it's just like a pure oversight from Yama Killer not putting in there. But imagine how good this deck actually is if it was an oversight and he still did it. Like I'm fairly certain these Bloodfast, even though these Bloodfast like did pretty well for me, they uh they aren't necessary. I don't think you need them. I mean, like you obviously could just switch Golden Demise for yeah, we'll keep this. You could just switch Golden Demise for a fine finality, then cut the district guide, and there's already two in your 75. 
I'm pretty sure that's just like a stone improvement to the deck. Should pop this out. Going for a ride. Oh, you can't even. Yeah, you can see him. Say hi to Twitch chat, buddy. You're tired, aren't you? Yes, he is. Okay. Oh, wow. We have a turn three queen. Yeah, whenever I think about cutting, I don't know. This deck, this deck does feel pretty nice besides the fine finality. Lava coil. You got it. I wonder if I want to um play I also kind of want to play more wild growth walkers. It was nice there was no brat no uh Sark in there. Yeah, I think we just want this. Like this is just gonna be the late game nut. We drew a land too. Yeah, dude. I think I'm just gonna take the two for here. If my opponent has another, if my opponent has another chain whirler, this is kind of a feel bad. But I don't want to content it. I don't want to trophy this. I could just tick up, but I don't really want to sack anything because I just want to march my way up to this Braska. So I think we're just gonna take it where we can get it. And know that this is only really bad if they have another chain whirler, which they didn't. We're not going to sack anything. And we can even, like, sack a land next turn and play Vraska. Because we can just float sack and be solid. Yeah, this game's pretty over. Should have played a black source. God, Braska is so sweet. Because, like, even on these clogged up boards where you think Planeswalkers, like, through combat aren't as good, it still just gets there. Is he making mana? No, he's just starting. Yeah, you still just, like, because you make Menace Pirates and then make their uh, life total uh, one... It just makes everything so difficult. I think we're just going to keep up. Like, we don't really need cards. And we're just getting getting cards out of this Braska. Like, this Braska is now two for one their opponent. If they ever answer it, it likely will three for one them. And now we have two ways to end the game next turn. They probably are sitting on a Deafening Clarion, if I had to guess. Probably not even any. I guess you attack because if they actually deal with Vraska, you keep them. You get them two points lower. I don't think they're gonna play whatever it is. Triple haste creature on the ground. Okay, I will take five. Is this card still bugged? No. It's only bugged if you say yes. Just gonna, uh, just gonna contempt this. Save the frenzy. We get you. You don't get a choice. You just take five regardless. 
Like even, or you have to take five. You can't choose to sack a creature. Is that what it is? Because each time I've played with, with against it, it's been right for me to take five damage. So like I haven't had the cho I haven't like had the opportunity to do something different. Let's come back over here. Collection. Standard. Let's just do this while while it's fresh on the brain. Oh, we got paired. So like this, cut this. I kind of want to keep this plague mirror and. I think that like two plague mirror is better than golden. Well, now nah, golden demise might be better because it does two. We'll see. I don't know if you need the argles. Then you can keep like your your like you can play more of these or wild growth blockers. I think both of these cards are going to become pretty important. Oh, we're playing against Todd Anderson. Nice. Are you playing a blue-red deck? How Todd Anderson like? Don't play. Oh man, this is awful. Like, I probably just have to hit this. It's going to ramp him, but I don't know what it's ramping him into. And like, oh, if I have to trophy this thing, this is so bad. Is he going to have chemistry insight? I think I'm just going to like, I just, I just, no, I should have done it. I think I should have done it. Well, now that he played a tap land, if he plays an untap, well, no, because he played a tap land, so it's not like he can chemistry his insight, so I'm just not going to do this. Like, though, if I would have done it right there, he couldn't ionize me, because, like, this can get ionized now, which kind of feels bad. Then he wouldn't be able to um, chemistry his insight. Yeah, let's put this on top. And then we'll choop this up. I was struck it by lightning. All right, so an electromancer basically didn't do anything. And we're going to hold this Eldest Reborn because we don't want to get uh, wrecked by like a niv -Mizzet. And if we can just trade with a niv -Mizzet, like without giving them a card from the trophy, we're all about that. Both Caleb streaming. My battle source can gain 20 followers. This is what it's like being famous. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was sweet. That deck looked cool. There, Harry. I think I think we're gonna sandbag this. I haven't seen a counterspell yet, but it would make sense for him to have a counterspell. Ah, oh, dude, big brain hub coming through. Having 2,000 matches. <laughs> you belched him, dude. If he plays anything here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Eldest Reborn. I'm probably going to Vraska now. Because the tap's so low. 
And Todd's smart enough to where if I don't attack my land of wilds, he's going to see through it. So I'm going to do this before combat. Like if he had a removal spell, Todd would have seen through that. So we might as well do it before we're pinned. You know, show me something here, Todd. It's two removal spells. Blink the Fine Broker. Nice. I kind of want to hit a land. So I think we're going to play this, hopefully hit a land, and then... Okay, we did. Yes. We gotta make sure to use our Varaska too. All right. Let him know I'm a fan. I guess I probably should have done that before the match. So if it were for like blue red dirtles, I'm gonna board in these to gain a little bit of life. Maybe we can eat an insight. Get these in here. Probably just want to shave a little bit of the fat. These cast downs probably aren't great. Probably can shave some trophies. We all played Crafter and Choops to handle the uh, whatever it is, the little guy. What's the little guy's name? We don't want this. This one isn't really doing anything. Oh, that kills, um, kills Crackling Drake. To handle whatever the little dude's name is, the Electromancer. Probably can just we probably can shave District Guy on the draw. I don't know. We'll try this. I keep wanting to cut some of these four drops, but every single time I do, I think I get punished. Hey, Archmage, how's it going? Why are we not playing Storm? I don't know. Okay, so this is nice that he played a tap land, because now this doesn't really matter. But even if he's got whatever the guy is, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna jam this. Oh, we played that. I played that in match one. I'll put that on top, put it on top. I guess I could have actually put that in the bottom and then fine brokered back. That would definitely have been the big brain move. This leaves me open to getting a uh, Wax with like a fiery cannonade, but if he did fiery cannonade me, we could just bring something back with the uh, fine broker. All right, let's get this. This probably means we're gonna get niv misited in the future. Lightning struck. All right, I'm going to duress. 
hit like an expansion expulsion, which could come out. Okay. I'm just going to bring back. Probably the Jade Light Ranger. We want to hit lands. And I can just reanimate the other one, whichever one doesn't work out here. Chemistry Insight, so we can reanimate this and eat the Insight, which is nice. Okay. Eat the Insight. Yes. Hit some lands. I could just eldest like get the eldest born going in there, but I think we want to hit our land drops. And just get more set up. Like I don't think we were worried about grinding them out this game. Though it might have been nice to have like if he lands a Nimbus in here, that's probably a way that this gets rough for us. Yeah, so let's just attack. I'm gonna eat one of their one of his spells. I guess ionize. Get back the eldest reborn. You kick a fight with fire? No, kick a bane fire me to almost. Bane fire me to almost. Well, I think his deck's weak and maybe this deck is kind of weak and sad. Not necessarily Tom. All right, so we got the 4 1. So I think if I was going to switch some things up, I'm not sure we need these blood fasts. These blood fasts might just be able to come like more like, uh, well, we want the plague mirror. Plague mirror. I have to restart Moto before the next game as well. Find. And then golden. Maybe like one. Well, we've already got a bunch of sweepers. But golden demise is better against red. And then maybe just play like another. Because like wild growth walker is really solid against the red decks. And Death Forge Scavenger is also really solid against the red decks. Um, but also being good against the mirror. So I think this is what I would play moving forward with this deck the next time I revisit. 